Hi everyone, Dana Maria here. So this is part four of the iodine series, and I'm going to talk to you about some important nutrients which are commonly referred to as companion nutrients. You need to take these companion nutrients to support your intake of iodine. Now, as I mentioned before, iodine is extremely effective in ridding your body of toxins. So you need to take the companion nutrients because they help to prevent your body from experiencing a toxic overload, which could lead to a Herxheimer reaction, which we've talked about several times before. Okay, so when I first started taking iodine by itself a few years ago, I started to experience some intense detox symptoms. So I continued to research and I learned about companion nutrients and how they would make taking iodine so much easier. And honestly, they really did. I definitely didn't feel those strong detox symptoms as long as I continue to take the specific nutrients that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. Now, keep in mind, the amount of each nutrient needed varies and really depends on the dosage of iodine that you're taking. Okay, so the first nutrient that you need to make sure that you're getting, and in my opinion, probably the most important of all of the companion nutrients, is selenium. Selenium works with iodine to heal your thyroid. It's needed to convert T4 hormone to active T3 hormone in your thyroid, which actually energizes the cells in your body. At first, I was reluctant to take iodine because I had read that iodine could possibly cause or worsen autoimmune thyroid disorders. I was confused because I had researched the thyroid and I knew that it needed iodine in order to function properly. Then I learned that the answer is actually in selenium. See, the problem here is that you need to get both iodine and selenium because when you're selenium deficient, especially if you're suffering from an autoimmune thyroid disorder, your body cannot handle high doses of iodine. According to Dr. Jeffrey Dock, selenium protects the thyroid from damage. When you are getting sufficient selenium in conjunction with your iodine, then they're able to work together to make your thyroid healthy and balanced. If you're currently on medication or you have a thyroid disorder, make sure you discuss this information with your doctor before taking anything. Also, like I've said before, make sure that your doctor is someone who's well-versed on the benefits of both iodine and selenium. Brazil nuts are a great source of selenium, but don't overdo it because they're very high in selenium. Limit your intake to one to two Brazil nuts per day. I love putting one Brazil nut in my smoothie every morning. So second, you need to make sure that you're getting vitamin C. Vitamin C actually carries toxins out of your body and builds your immune system. Not only does vitamin C detoxify your body, but it also helps to heal your adrenal glands along with the iodine. Great sources of vitamin C that I either eat or drink daily are oranges. I drink a cup of orange juice every morning. Uh, I eat beets, uh, I drink beet juice, uh, grapefruit juice, and uh, kiwis. Third, you need to make sure that you're getting unrefined salt. And like I talked about in my previous videos, I recommend Himalayan pink salt. Never ingest table salt. Salt helps to flush toxins and heavy metals out of your body. That's why I put a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt in a cup of water and I just drink it down. Just like the vitamin C, this also supports your adrenals in conjunction with your iodine. Fourth, you need magnesium. Close to 80% of Americans are deficient in magnesium, which is pretty scary guys because magnesium is responsible for over 300 enzyme reactions in your body. I get magnesium from almonds, they're an excellent source. Almond milk, uh, I have a spiralizer, so I eat a lot of zucchini, which is also a good source of magnesium. And I also get it from dark chocolate. Fifth, you need to get B vitamins. Many sources will say you specifically need vitamins B2, B3, and B12 when you're dealing with iodine. B vitamins are essential for energy and they help to support your metabolism. Great sources of vitamin B2 are almonds and eggs. Great sources of B3 are turkey and avocado. Great sources of vitamin B12 are eggs and meat. And like I mentioned before, I eat a lot of uh, zucchini, and zucchini is also very high in multiple B vitamins, which is great. Lastly, you need to make sure that you're getting uh, sufficient water. You wanna make sure that you're drinking water. Drinking water helps your kidneys effectively remove toxins through your urine, which will help to lessen your chances of having a Herxheimer reaction. 
I suggest drinking spring water in a large container consistently throughout the day. All right, you guys. Well, I really hope that this uh, information has been helpful. I suggested a lot of food, uh, fruit, and fruit juices instead of supplements because if you learn to make these items a part of your daily routine, you'll be constantly supplying your body with the nutrients it needs to uh, handle the iodine and it won't even feel like a chore. Um, I do wanna add that personally, uh, when I take my iodine, I have kind of my own little regimen. Everyone is different, everyone has their own, uh, you know, different regimen that they do, but for me personally, I drink a cup of salt water in the morning, then I take my iodine, and then I drink a glass of orange juice afterwards, and I make sure that at some point in that morning, I'm either eating a Brazil nut, or I am um, putting it in my smoothie. And this is kind of like my bare minimum regimen uh, to ensure that I don't get a Herxheimer reaction. Because like I said before, you guys, um, all of the companion nutrients that I mentioned are extremely important and they're gonna help you when you um, take your iodine. But my regimen, again, is that bare minimum. If you're in a rush or you gotta take iodine, make sure you do that. And uh, if you're anything like me, it will, uh, it'll, it'll really help with your, your iodine intake. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure uh, in the comments below you let me know if there's uh, any type of um, product or um, food item or whatever, whatever you use to help your detox go just a little bit uh, easier and a little bit smoother. Um, nothing but peace and love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and remember, you are not alone. We are on this journey together. Until next time.